This is the fifth video in a tutorial series building a basic helicopter model in Blender. My project is pretty much where I left off in the last video. We're still working on the landing gear here. So we'll get back to that. I'm going to enter the side frame and go back into wireframe mode. I made a decision I'm going to draw back my window a little bit as well. This area of the landing gear I feel is so a little too forward on the skids. So I'm going to draw that back as well at the same time. I'll select the regions that I want to pull backwards. I'll leave the back and front of the skids anchored so that they stay put. And just draw this whole assembly back. I'll use grab, limit to X pull it back till it looks a little more proper. This draws the window a little bit further than I would like so I'm going to put it forward slightly. I don't want the window too big. This will change the scale of the helicopter quite a bit. Now what I'm going to need to do is subdivide certain areas in order to build the bars that will hold the landing gear. We don't want a solid area here. We want bars with an empty area. Also we're going to need to change the angle of these two edges. They should come from the inside to the outside a bit more. So they should be on an angle and not look so boxy. First off we'll do the subdividing though. I'm going to go into edges mode to be able to subdivide the areas that I want more correctly and I'll just demonstrate why that is here. I'll select these edges which I want to subdivide and then I'm going to go back into vertices and see what's selected in that mode. In that mode I have whole areas selected rather than just those four lines. But in edges mode I can select just the edges alone as you can see my selection has changed by going into vertices it has decided these edges are also selected but I don't want to subdivide those. That will just make a lot of unnecessary edges that we don't need. So I'll use the mesh tools dialog to subdivide that and this will give me something to work with to build my landing gear assembly and make it look more proper. I'll go back into vertices mode and deselect all and now I'm going to erase some areas that I don't really want which would be here all the way down. Once I delete this there's going to be a rather large open faced area and I'm going to have to close that. As usual this is a time consuming process so I'm going to just give a basic outline of what I'm going to do here and then cut behind the scenes and finish closing this area on off of the camera and return to the video and save a little bit of time by doing that and basically all I'm going to do is close all of the areas except for the ones that I'm going to want to join so this is the process that I'm going to close area and rebuild with this empty and rebuild the skids and the portions of the helicopter that got deleted. I find it's easier to delete these portions and get rid of them. That It saves a considerable amount of mess. So I'll just try to put faces wherever they make the most sense and rebuild the helicopter without having a whole bunch of unnecessary faces. And I'll just finish that behind the scenes and return with it completed. I've completed filling in all the extra faces and rebuilding this area. As you can see it makes a little more sense now the way that it looks. And all we have to do is a little bit of resizing to give the appropriate angles to our landing gear assembly here. So I'll switch into a side view. We'll have a little look see at what we can do to change angles and try to do them all at the same time. I think we'll be mostly working with the resizing tool again. And 
I think what will make sense is to draw this portion inwards and this portion inwards and then the bottom inside draw them outwards so we'll use resizing to do that I think that would be the best tool I'll brush select the top outside region shrink it along X that will maintain everything and I think that looks okay there perhaps zooming back will give a clearer view and then I'll select this area here and size it also along X and pull it outwards and we'll slim the bottom portion out a touch as well well it looks to me as though the scale on this is a little bit offset so I'm going to correct that scale very quickly and um, I think we can do that just by using the grabbing tool so first off I'll grab what I have selected and slide it along X a little bit and just try to balance out the two sides so they're looking a little more even I think that looks a lot better and then I can do the same thing with the selection on the inside of the top portion so I'll just select that area and move it along X until it looks more balanced out and I'm, I'm using the grid to try to see where balanced is and largely just working by eye as well you know if it looks right it looks right and a grid isn't all that important in making something look fairly reasonable now I'm thinking that that looks pretty sharp that that's really made this landing gear look quite nice and I also think that it's balanced it quite nicely and the reason I felt it was out of balance is just looking at where my uh, helicopter's router propeller would be would be located right up here and that places the balance of the helicopter right here that's where it will turn and where its actual weight balance will lie so to make it look proper and balanced um, having a look at where exactly the propeller will go is quite important and we'll be referring to that propeller area for a couple other things for example this little pink dot here which is my object data dot this object data dot is going to need to be relocated into the area of the propeller because when we go into the game engine and create any kind of pitch control that pitch control is going to center on this object data and this will become the rotation point for our object as well and the only sensible place for that rotation point to be is under the balance point of a helicopter which is its main router or propeller which, whichever X is actually technically called I don't know because I'm not a rocket scientist so I'm thinking I'm out of time again uh, for our next video we'll be loading up the side image and tackling the tail and and inserting a tail router and maybe even get a start on that propeller uh, the sooner we get the propeller and start giving some colors to this the sooner we're in the game engine where I'm sure more people are interested in that game engine than in this very basic image so until the next videos that's where we're at and where we're going